And now let's have a look uh, how Evidence Center is bypassing the iPhone's USB restricted mode. For this purpose, you may choose either to enable the recovery mode or the DFU mode on the iPhone. In our case, we will enable the DFU mode on our demo phone. In Evidence Center, we have already created a new case. And now we are selecting Checkmate-based acquisition method. At the same time, we see the message notifying us to unlock the iPhone to use the device on the screen of the iPhone. Meanwhile, we pick up iPhone X and iOS version in Evidence Center and see the guidelines for enabling the DFU mode. Our researcher is enabling the DFU mode on the iPhone with several pushes on the volume up and volume down button in combination with the side button. As soon as the Belgasoft detects that the phone is in DFU mode, we choose the target path and can proceed to examine the iPhone. Now Belkasoft is communicating to the device to install the Checkmate exploit. On the screen of the iPhone, the Apple logo appears with the Checkmate logo over it. Let's wait for it. And here it is. And a few seconds later, we will see only an Apple logo on the screen or the iPhone. Okay, here it is. And then the lock screen appears. The iPhone is still locked, but we see that the device started to charge, which is a good sign. It means that you will be able to extract uh, the iPhone's image even if you don't have a passcode. In the Evidence Center window now, we have an alert saying that you may proceed with the extraction procedure, either you have a passcode or not. Our researcher is clicking OK and iPhone stays in the same mode. Evidence Center starts the procedure of iPhone image acquisition.